Hey, from the Double RT Boxing Show, is back at you with another one. This is the post-fight recap for the newly crowned WBC Silver International Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Gorman, with a fifth round referee stoppage over uh, Schultby. I, I have I had a few questions answered in this fight um first off you know thank you for tuning in to the show thank you for staying loyal and dedicated i give you thumbs up now i figured the house bet was with gorman but like my good old friend levi khan I, thank you levi he always calls me out when i go against the grain i i needed to see something else from Gorman. I knew he had the fast hand speed. I knew he had uh, the the weight, the power. I just didn't know if he had the legs. So I, I thought uh, Schulte, who had the legs, would be able to outmaneuver the bigger man. Now, in this fight, you know, round one was a, a nice fill out round. You know, Gorman threw a couple couple jabs out there a few body shots Schulten landed a, a, some double root up on the left jab himself but I, I gave excuse me I had a clean sweep for Gorman up until the referee stoppage now, um, the whole the whole fight was to me was about Gorman's feet what was he able to do with his feet that's all I wanted to see in this fight and that's why I picked against him. I didn't think he had defeat. And in round two, round two, uh, soon it came out, Gorman came out with a nice double check left hook. And even the commentators were like, you know, it's better, to, that's what we want to see from Gorman. Instead of just the raw power ones and twos, show that hand speed. You know, yeah, his power did drop off a little bit, but the, with the combinations of that big dude, eventually, if he keeps hitting you like that, Gorman, with speed and that weight behind him, he's gonna get an accumulation stoppages. You know, and then round three happened. He started to ju um, jab his way in more, double jab his way in. And Shelton, this is what Saltby. This is where it just I, I got I started to get a little disappointed in Saltby. But I, I I like I said I picked Saltby thinking he would use his legs. That's the only chance he had to beat. The, the faster hands, the harder puncher. I thought he had the advantage on the legs. I thought he would be able to jab him around, but he wasn't even throwing the jab. He wasn't feinting the jab. He wasn't doing nothing to keep Gorman even guessing of, okay, what to do. Gorman was able to come in and just about throw anything he wanted with, with no fear of anything coming back at him. Or anything stopping him from even coming in. Now, give Gorman his credit. I did like how he was, you know, fainting with the shoulders. He was fainting with the shoulders here. You know, do a little big man faint with his legs. Give Gorman credit on that one. I, I, was, I was impressed on that. Now, he also, though, Gorman was he's fine, kind of following Schultby a little too much for me instead of cutting the ring off. And when every time Schultz, Schultz be kind of cut off, I mean, circled out to the left, it led uh, Gorman feet to be a little off, a little out of position, and it led him to like lunging a lot with misses with his left hand. So that says Gorman's 11 and 0, now 12 and 0. So he's gonna work on that. I believe Ricky Hatton will, because Ricky Hatton was really good on his footwork. So I believe he will have Gorman fix that little problem. That's the only problem I've seen in this fight. And that's the, again, that's the main reason why I, I picked Gorman to lose early in his career. I just didn't think his footwork will be able to match the faster leg and feet of Soapy. But without, without even throwing a jab, feinting a jab, giving Gorman to think about, it was, an easy, it was an easy fight for Gorman. Now, at the end of round four, this, he, he was he walked Shelby, he walked Shelby down a lot in round four. 
he just like leaned his weight on him, made him tired. And I'm watching this fight, and I'm looking, I'm looking in between rounds four and five. And you look at that, and you just look at Shopee's face. He's done. He's mentally quit. Go, go back and watch that fight, and you see it right there. And, and he's sitting on the stool. He's like, you know, he's done. He's he's mentally quit. And then out comes round five. Every time the referee breaks some showbies, this is another time. A lot of fighters do this, and you can tell when they do this, they're done. When a referee breaks you, you know, instead of just okay, break, let's go back at it. When you see when you see fighters go break and then they break and they, they turn, and you need the referee to go, hey, turn around, turn around, let's fight. They're done. They're mentally defeated. They're done, and that's all Shulpy was doing. Every time in round five, there's a break. Or a reset. He he had his back turned. He had to, oh yeah, I gotta fight, I gotta fight. And that's why eventually that's what led to the knockout. Uh around round five, it's somewhere around about a minute mark. There's another break. And this is like his third time doing it. Shopee had his back turned. And this time Gorman was quick enough before the referee could say, Hey, let's turn around the fight. He, he, instead of being all the turn, he was about three fourths turn and Gorman just rushed him cracked him like twice as he's like dude stop turning your back on me and so he cracked him before he could turn his back he caught him on a three-fourth turn cracked him twice <laughs> he fell like he fell over the ropes like a uh, shelf was all leaning over the ropes you know he fell down you know there's a first knockdown he, he went down to his knees <sighs> and then he just got up got a nice nice little straight left leaned all against the ropes again and the referee just stopped it so it was a very, like I said, he becomes the WBC Silver International Champion, which is pretty good cause if, if it's international. So I'm going to have to look up who is the international champ. So basically, he's going to be fighting within that little UK country market before he could switch to another continent and fight another champion unless the prom uh, promoters and matchmakers okay to fight but right now he's going to be fighting in that little region uh, like I said the question he did answer for me was his feet how was how was his uh, legs that's the only reason I picked against him I thought Shelby would be able to outmaneuver him but without without throwing a jab what's the point of moving around the ring you can let some guy walk you down and punch you so it's a good little, good little heavyweight. Um, what's the word I'm trying to say? A good little pop up for heavyweight. You know, over here in the states, they had a Junior Fa. Over there is uh, Nathan Gorman, Daniel Dubois. Three little heavyweights who made them, who's making a name for themselves. Like I said, and Gorman and Dubois, they're eventually gonna collide. That that'd be a nice little. Maybe three fights from down the road from now. And I think that'd be a nice little fight. But that's uh, just Mr. A saying. Nathan Gorman, the new WBC international champion with a fifth round stoppage over Schulte. Thank you for your support.